So today, front brake pads on the Intruder 800. This one I brought just to flip. Yeah, I sprayed all the top yoke and everything, front forks, tidied all them up. Yeah, tidied up the frame a bit, add bits of rust here and there. Yeah, just gave it a quick tidy up. Front brakes are grinding a bit, so I've got to order some new pads. So yeah, let's get these pads changed. First thing we need to do, we'll do this top cap. Why so much chrome? So, I'll do the 214 bolts there. Caliper slides off. See, not bad on the pads, to be fair. I actually had a little bit of grinding when I took it out the other night. So yeah, I'm just gonna change and clean them up. I wouldn't have done that top cap, that's off. So, zoom in, you see there, that little pin. You just need to pull that pin off there and take that bar out. The knees will lift up out of the way. So, yeah, but before I do that, I'll take that clip off there. Then I'm going to put a screwdriver in between the pads and force them pistons back. Trying to get them pistons back, and that way, as you're doing that, keep an eye, make sure your fluid don't tip out of the top. So, yeah, so screwdriver in between the pads and push them pistons back. That's the pistons pushed back. Like I say, all I did is stick a screwdriver in as I'm not using these pads again. I've got new ones, screwdriver in, just push the pistons back. But that top cover has got to be off. So yeah, no focus. The next thing is, what I'll do, pull that clip out, push that pad back, pull that clip out, and I'll take that bottom bar off. So as you can see there, bar's starting to pull out there. Uh, sometimes these season and are a pain to get out, so yeah, use a bit of release lube, some spray, some WD-40, try and clean the bar up not try heating it up if you still don't come out you will have to drill through the end there just get some in just to tap it out but luckily this pulled out so yeah bonus that's the clip there so yeah we'll pull this out now so remember how your shoes go you want both holes down here you see up there and it tucks in and this one goes around that bottom that bars out so this one lifts up completely over and pulls off the end there like that. and this one just pops out like that and say so it pops out like that there you go like that so that bit there looks under there Well, that hooks underneath there like that yeah you get a gist make sure you put your pads back the right way around so what I'm going to do is now is give this a quick clean up give it a spray put new pads in put it back together another thing you want to check is after you clean it just make sure the use go in squeeze in nicely if not you have to take them apart, they will just pull out. Just pulls out, just make sure you unseat these rubbers properly so you don't split them. Give them a clean out, a bit of a grease, to get them working again. But yeah, you gotta make sure they're working. So yeah, let's put the new pads back in. So there's the new pads in. When you put that bottom bar in, you see an hole in it. See there? Make sure that's pointing out because that's where that clip goes in to hold it in so yeah put that clip in put this back on squeeze them that lever a couple of times put the cap back on make sure the fluid's tucked up to full so then that's that done 
easy really pads are on a bike so yeah hope this has helped if so give us a like hit that subscribe button as well thanks again see you next time Thank you.